influencing. <clears throat> Thinking on my toes and future podcasting. So let's welcome Mike to the dais. Old man and a little boy were heading to town and they had a donkey with them. The little boy was riding a donkey and the old man was walking beside him. And as, as they started walking towards town, they heard some murmuring in the crowd. They said, what a shame that old man has to walk beside the donkey. So they thought maybe they could have just had a point, so they decided to change positions. And so they started going back to town, and now the little boy was walking, and the old man was on a donkey. And they kept going, and they kept going, and they heard some other people in the crowd saying, how awful it is that an old man has to really just walk while that little boy gets to sit in the donkey. So this time they decided they were both going to walk. So they started walking, and they kept going towards their destination, and they came across another group of people, and they said, Wow, how stupid it is. These guys are walking when they have a donkey perfectly well to walk on. So they said that they both were going to ride the donkey. They started riding the donkey, kept going, kept going. And then another group of people approached them and they said, how awful it is that that poor donkey has to carry such a heavy load. And this time the old man and the little boy said, well, maybe the critics are right again. So we're actually going to carry the donkey. And so they started <laughs> carrying the donkey. They came across a bridge and they lost the grip of the animal and it fell into the river and drowned. Well, what's the moral of the story? If you try to please everyone, you might as well just kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and honest, honored guests, that story is about me. You see, in today's world that we live in, people get so offended very easily, right? And I gotta tell you, I'm an offensive person. Now the reason why I'm here in Toastmasters is because I want to better myself. I want to learn how to be able to deliver a, deliver a message, be able to enhance my public speaking skills, be able to grow as a person, to, to be able to do t-shirt blogging, podcasting, and really just be able to speak my mind. In fact, I want to make money speaking my mind. I want to, I want to capitalize on my experiences, on my skills, and my stories. So that's why I'm here. But as I know that I can't possibly please everyone, I'm gonna introduce you to what I call Mike's Mind. So I thought I'd start off by telling you a little bit about myself. The first thing I wanna share with you and why I'm so offensive is that I, I like to think and talk about politics, right? Now, when I wake up any given day and I'm having a conversation, I'm probably gonna offend both Republicans and Democrats in every single day. <laughs> See, I'm a libertarian, so, there are seven words that dictate my philosophy. Don't hurt me, don't take my stuff. I live by the principles of limited government, individualism, peace, tolerance, and the free market. Now, if you're a Republican, we're probably gonna disagree when we start talking about the police states or the war on terrorism or the war on drugs. And if you're a Democrat, you're probably gonna be offended when I start talking to you about the economy about censorship, about climate change, you probably think I'm crazy, right? So that's offensive. You're gonna be offended one way or the other. But I know that politics isn't the most important thing to everybody, so the next thing I wanna offend you with is my belief in religion. You know, there's 4,200 different religions on this planet. And if there's 4,200 gods out there in the world, I've certainly picked the one that is often most misunderstood and even cultish. See, Wendy, I'm actually a Mormon. I belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So the first question people ask me is if I have multiple wives, as if it was offensive to somebody if I had multiple wives. No, I only have one wife. <laughs> but I've heard other things people are offended by. They'll say that Mormons, you guys are the ones that uh, follow Joseph Smith. He's a gold digger, right? Or you say, you guys believe that you can get your own planet when you die as if that is somehow offensive, right? And I'm thinking, well, you know, people are gonna be offended one way or the other, but I'm still firm in my belief that we have living prophets and that we have continuing revelation. So that's, that's offensive, right? Well, since it's usually taboo to talk about religion, it's usually taboo to talk about politics in a social setting, 
I'll, I'll make it a little bit more comfortable. I'm going to talk about the third thing that could be offensive to people. I know somebody's going to be offended by this. What I do professionally. I remember I had a conversation with my wife one time, well, my ex-wife, really. She was offended by this. I told her I didn't want to have a job. I said, I was unemployable. I said, I don't want to talk. I don't want to work for a boss. I don't want to have somebody dictating when I can come and go, when I can spend time with my family. And I don't want anyone to put a limit on my income ability. See, I told her I didn't want to have a job. I didn't say I didn't want to work. I work hard, okay? But somehow that's offensive. It's offensive when I get to come and go as I please. I can make as much money as I want. And I don't have to answer to a boss. It's offensive when I actually have goals in front of me and I actually one by one check them off as I achieve them. Now that was just three things about myself that some people would be offended. And I know, once again, I can't please everyone. But if I were to talk about movies and music and uh, food, other things like that, every single one of you would probably disagree with me at one point or another, right? I'm offensive. I'm not going to please everyone. So if you're offended, Michelle, when I come up to you in a friendly manner and say, how are you doing? You having a good day? Or if my calm demeanor and relaxed attitude is really offensive to you, well, then I can't please everybody. But like the boy and the old man, I've got places to go. I've got things I've got to do. And I'm going to get there, and I guarantee I'm not going to be carrying the donkey in my hands. Thank you.